Hi everyone, I'm Coach Candace Hill. Um, I've been coaching for 10 years now. I've been at all levels. I started at Division II level, um, and then from, where, from there, went into our Director of Ops position, um, and then from there, just been in coaching um, and been on the floor. Um, I am currently at St. John's University as Associate Head Coach. My why is uh, just being able to develop and build relationships with recruits and their families um, and then ultimately um, making them, you know, our players and seeing them grow uh, with the four years that we've had them. Um, but just building those relationships, I feel like building those relationships with the players is priceless. Um, it's no better feeling than seeing them, you know, accomplish different things um, through a, over their four years and then see them go on and get married or um, you know, have these great jobs or actually get back to the game by being a coach or a referee or something like that. So just seeing them grow um, and just helping them grow through all the pains and everything that you go through in college, I just love being there for them. I got into coaching um, right after my senior year of college. I actually had a job uh, writing grants and I was like, nah, I can't do this nine to five. So um, my high school coach at the time, she actually had got a job at Division II school. Um, and hit me up and was like, hey, I would love to have you on my staff. Um, I don't have much to pay you, but I would love for you to just come up and see. So I went up to the gym um, and watched the practice and as soon as I got in there, I was like, yeah, this is where I'm supposed to be at. Um, and I've just been, every, been doing coaching ever since. So um, I'm thankful that she actually reached out to me to get me in it. Uh, I didn't think that I wanted to do it, but you know, being back in the gym and being back around the players and just being able to have my hands on them and help them um, which is just a great feeling. Um, I help develop my players uh, both physically and mentally, um, just making them understand, you know, how hard it is to get to the next level. Um, you know, the WNBA doesn't have a lot of, you know, positions and slots for players. So even if you get drafted, it doesn't mean that you're going to be able to stay. So uh, with the physical aspect, you know, us as coaches at St. John's, we use a lot of the same terminology um, that the WNBA uses. Um, and I believe that that has helped you know, with the players that have come from that program be successful while they're in the league um, because they understand what's going on when they get there. And it's, it's a much faster pace there. So that's how we try to run our program, just like the W does with their programs. Um, and then with the mental, you know, aspect, it's just making them understand that, like, you know, each and every day you got to work hard. Nothing's easy, especially if you want to be a winner and you want to get to the next level. Um, you have to work hard each and every day. And that doesn't mean just on the court. That means about, you know, building your brand and who you are. Um, I think that that's an important key as well. It's just making them understand that, you know, the more that you do for the program, the way that you represent yourself all plays a part in the next level. So um, just helping them through those those times where they don't know what to do um, or helping them make decisions, um, just making them understand that, like, everything is bigger than uh, where you are and who you are now. So your representation of, of where your feet are currently is a huge deal for what's next. The biggest thing I would tell anybody that wants to be a, a coach, whether you're a player or not, um, would be to network as much as you can. Um, I feel like a lot of opportunities come from networking. Um, and I've actually been in these positions where, you know, I didn't have many opportunities, like how people that I know had many opportunities to get into coaching or be a GA. Um, like I said, I started at the Division II level and I just took what was there. and. Um, from there, I kind of network my, my way up to where I am now. So I think the biggest thing is just networking and then wherever you are, just being the best that you are because everybody talks in this business. So if you're doing great where you are, if you're developing players, you're having great relationships with the players, um, you know, you're involved on campus. Like I think all of that stuff plays a huge part into getting um, into the coaching field. But the biggest thing to me is just networking and just being the best that you can wherever you are.